What's going on Mongs, it's me Sammy Mong and welcome back to some more Crowful. My aim in today's video is to level up enough so I can unlock the second major discipline slot and then from there we can swap out disciplines and try and test some PvP stuff as the little duelist guy, you know, dual pistols or just the pistol and the sword. So we'll do a few combinations but I'm figuring to get there it's either going to take two or like three or four levels. There's only one line between here and like if you go over here look you have to spec at least three lines here to get to that one, but there's five available. So hopefully it's only one talent point to get to there, and then once we've unlocked that, we can get another talent point and unlock the major discipline slot, which would obviously be two levels, because you get one and then two, you know, have to level up again to unlock the major discipline. But I've hopefully got the first level in just sacrifices. Then we just need to go out and just kill things and get the next level, and then we can start testing out, hopefully, some cool just sort of duelist builds. Now I have unlocked in my skill training as well, the ability to create uh, weapons. So I actually, I think I'm one node off, yeah. I need to unlock the next node to, uh, to be able to make rapiers. Sorry, tripped off my words there. But I can currently make pistols. So I'm gonna start gathering iron, copper, and gold. Just so I can start, get a head start on that. And then once I've fully unlocked uh, the advanced weapon research, I'll be able to create myself some advanced weapons. And then we're gonna have to sort out a leather armor set from somewhere. Else it'll be a, a while before I get a leather armor set. So potentially just stack up gold from all of the animals that we're killing. Harvest their leather, ask someone, you know. But let's go ahead and sacrifice this first lot and see if we actually get this first level. I have got an extremely stuffed nose. I've got a cold, I'm sorry. But let's dump this all in. This is just the, the crappy stuff. Only a few XP here and there. It's basically these four items down here that give us the hundreds of XP. Is it going up? Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Back, back. I don't want to sacrifice my intermediate stuff. I didn't mean to. 53? Oh, screw it. I sacrificed that 10 meat, and there we go. That's our first level. Three more in dexterity, and another point two of crit hit chance. That's the wrong button. That's the map. Now let's open this up. Oh, I hate when it zooms in like that. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. Critical hit damage by 5% per point spent. There we go. That's one. And then we can... Un oh, we have to spend 28 points. Oh no, saying that, I did want to get uh, Inconceivable, and then you have got Redirect Pain here, and the Sneaky Stealth. We've, also, we've got another Minor Discipline slot down there, but I don't particularly want Energetic, because I'm trying to go for a build that focuses on Impale, just crit, big crit hit, big crit hit damage. And I don't really want the basic attack, and this one gives you more attack power anyway. But 28 points, if we spend this one, that'll be 22, and then we're 6 off, which is 3 levels. We've got to get three levels at the minimum, or four to be able to actually then uh, slot in the next major. How annoying. I'm going to spend one there just so it unlocks it. 81. It's only 106 XP now. Damn, we should have used that. That was like 200 XP, I swear. Alright, let's go out and try and kill some things. Let's go out for an adventure. I don't know. If, depends how many mobs are out. I don't know if I'll be able to get the three levels in the time that I've got before I go to work. But we'll see. If not, I'll just do it after work and then in the next video. We should be all caught up. Balance has really taken over, what? This is a surprise. Low level copper, iron or gold. And mobs for XP. So let's have a gander. Where are we going? Where's the siege temple? Oh, all three of them. I was going to go for the impale. But you might as well go for the, the stun. It'll get more AoE damage. There we go. Shouldn't be too hard. Haha. And the XP bar hardly moved. I don't think it moved at all. Fantastic. Seems we're going to have to find like a higher rank mob. No. What? Why? Let's harvest them anyway. Going to grab a bit of stone just so I have some for some unmarked stone rune things. For my rune tools. I was just thinking if we can't find any higher ranked mobs. We may have to try and sacrifice some resources or crafted items that we can create. See what gives the best XP and level up that way. So it's going to be roughly like 500 to like 600 XP per level. Alright, now I've got gold. I can make myself the pickaxe I want, which is gold and silver. I've forgotten what it does. I think it gives you more plentiful resource or beneficial, one of them. And then I can just try and make as many other like runic tools as I can, try and sacrifice them. Because I'm not finding any other mobs. I may potentially want to go into the adventure land, but it's owned a lot more by balance than it is by chaos. At least we've got the temple here to actually craft the pickaxes in. So we'll have a see. 
I'll do one circle of the temple, see if I can find any other mobs. If not, I'll try and craft some things. Oh, oh. I can't even damage it. Bruh, rank 10, why? <laughs> My chances. Ah. Finally, another Chaos Ember. That means I've got two now, so I've got one back in the local bank at the Chaos Temple. That means I need one more to get the Swift Pack Pig. I need a lot of leather to go with it, though. Some more silver over there. Still not seeing any mobs, so I'm just going to have to... I think I'm going to go to get that... Is it silver? Or is that rock? I think it is silver. And then go create some tools and see what their sacrifice XP is like. Hopefully, if it's in 100+, plus, we can at least get one more level. I needed three, but I don't think that's happening in this video. It will do. It will happen before the next one, though. I promise. Even if I have to craft, like, 25 pickaxes. I'm surprised there's not, like, more mobs around. But, hey-ho. Let's just finish off capturing this, mine that up, and then head to towards the temple. Let's chuck in that, chuck in the pixie jewel, and then some ethereal dust. And it sacrifices for 100! There we go, sound. So, I need about 15. Guys, I'm not going to sit here and craft up 15 axes just to end off the video. I'm going to bank my stuff, jump into the adventure world, see if there's any actual mobs in the adventure world compared to the siege world. Try and get a bit of combat in the video. Try and see how much mobs are worth in XP. See how much. We'll see what ones are the best, basically. Try and get a little bit of gold stacked as well. We have got about 1.4k in one of the banks. So we can go ahead and buy ourselves our leather armor set from someone's eternal kingdom. Or in the free city or something. But yeah, I'll be back in just a second as I travel worlds. And bank all of my stuff. Alright, what are we going to put here? Oh, I've got 61 coins here as well. Check that. Oh. Rank 2 Birch, I'm going to grab up this quickly, just so I've got a uh, Birch for a weapon grip when I get the training for, to make the one-handed rapier sword. R3, would, would that give us any XP? Let's have a look, it's just past the F4 on the EXP bar. Not really, not at all. <laughs> I'm honestly in disbelief right now while editing this video at just the shocking performance of OBS. First it cuts off the end of my video after the R3 spider and then it gives me no audio, not even game audio, when I was recording the the, the re-recording of the end of the video. So I have to re-record the end of the video, go to edit and then it has no audio. But guys as you can see that R3 spider actually gave us no XP but as you can see from the clip here the R4 spiders do. I've managed to gain myself some XP and as of editing this video I've actually leveled up to level 14. So only two levels off. So a mixture of Killing the spiders, sacrificing the venom sacks, the eggs, and their fangs, because they actually go for quite a lot of XP, and then crafting up some pickaxes and sacrificing them for 100 XP, as we saw earlier, should get us to level 16, which I'm going to do after editing this video, so expect another video tomorrow. But guys, that's going to end it for this one. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below, anything crowful or gaming related, and of course, be sure to check the description for links to my game on Amazon and Redbubble store, gamer gifts for everyone alike. Thanks for all of the support, and I shall see you in the next video.